What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared and today on the Six Overs we're going to finally be reviewing the newest tune on the channel that is from Truck Source Diesel, commonly referred to as TSD, and it is their SPD tune. This is their race tune. This is as big as it gets for SPD, and it is awesome. I love it. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of it right now. But first, YouTube, if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and drop those comments down below. Have, what have your guys' experiences been with Truck Source Diesel or other tuners, other tunes you wanna see to the channel? This is our third company we are reviewing and it has been fun to make these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them as well. Now first, I wanna talk about the daily drivability of this tune. How does it shift? How much, how nice is it to drive throughout your day if you're just taking it to work, driving through towns, through cities? What do I think of it? And all in all, I have very nice things to say about it. The smoke output, although a little more than I like, it is relatively mild for a race tune of this caliber. And throttle response is all in all very good on this tune. The truck gets up and goes very well with, again, not a whole lot of smoke output. It's very mild in that, especially once your turbo is up and spooling. From a dead stop, there is a little bit of lag as there are with most turbos when you're getting a little bit on the bigger side for even a VGT turbo, but it is very, very manageable. And again, we're running a relatively large turbo with a relatively mild injector upgrade and no Ficum tuning. So the truck daily drives very, very well. It is nice that it doesn't hold gears too long. It doesn't seem to want to be searching for a gear either. Just nice when it, you need it to downshift, it downshifts. When you don't, it doesn't. It does very well in that regard, and I'm enjoying it very much. Also with the tow hole button, very much like the Ultimate X-Tune from Innovative Diesel, it will lock the converter up. They have a few different variations of this tune, so give them a call or they do most of it by email, excuse me. Do a lot of it by email if you are interested in some of the other options that they may have for their SPD tune. But again, all in all, it's a very nice daily driving tune. Now, before we get into how much fun is it to race with this tune, let's talk about fuel economy. And basically through my daily driving, I would say this is a good tune, but not a great tune. I get about 15 cruising around town uh, with normal driving. Now I have gotten much worse, but that's because I had a heavy foot. I caused it. If you're trying to you get decent mileage out of it, I think you can. 15 around town I think is relatively good. We're on stock gears. We got 35 by 12 and a half on a 20 inch wheel, uh, fuel wheels. They're not exactly light. So that does take come into account. We're running Nitto Terra Grapplers. Although not the most aggressive all-terrain tire, definitely far from a highway tire or a car kind of tire like a Nitto 420 for trucks, uh, that would definitely get better mileage than this setup. So we went over daily driving, it does that well. We went over fuel economy, we went over transmission shifting. Now let's switch gears a little bit, let's talk about going fast and that is what people buy race tunes for. Uh, they do not buy race tunes because they want good fuel economy. They do not buy them because they care about how well it downshifts or whatnot. They care about getting from point A to point B fast. And for getting from point A to point B quickly, the truck does not disappoint. Truck source diesel, I should say, does not disappoint. The SPD tune is a blast to drive. This truck gets up, gets out of its own way very well. Again, a little smoky from a dead stop, as you guys will probably be able to see here in two seconds when I go from a dead stop. Now, I wouldn't say I'm really on it. <laughs> Sorry, once the turbo lights, it does pick up pretty good. So as you can see, the truck gets up, it goes pretty well. We're not gonna talk about speed limit right now, but I'm going a safe speed for the road I'm on. A little smoky, definitely a little smoky. We're gonna talk about boost and drive pressure. Now that was probably about half throttle. That was not a full throttle pull. ICP voltage was reading about 4.7, 4.8. Uh, I only took a glance, so I don't know. It will hit 4.9, which is a good thing. We want ICP voltage up there. But uh, plenty, the H-POP's able to keep up completely fine in this. 
Uh, boost peaks about 29 PSI. Exhaust back pressure when I'm at that 29 and half throttle is about 32. So super, super good. We're running a close ratio. Um, it's not a tr it's not a one to one ratio, but it is like a 1.1 to one, whatever. Um, it is close, and this turbo is not out of its efficiency range, which that's a conversation for a re final review of this turbo at a much later date. Now, during a full throttle pull, yes, it does that exhaust back pressure does get a little higher. I want to say 33. Um, excuse me, not 33. I want to say more like 36 while it's still running 29 pounds of boost. But some of that is in the tuning because the boost should increase this. This charger is capable of making more boost than 29. I have a feeling the tune does not read boost accurately. And what I mean by that is tuners sometimes will spoof the boost reading, much like they'll spoof an ICP reading, which is why you measure it in volts, not in PSI. The voltage of it is correct while the PSI is incorrect because they're trying to get it to fuel more. Now we are going to put the tow haul button on. We're going to do a quick little pull with that in. and we had 4.8 volts uh, ICP, so we're good there. I saw 33 PSI of back pressure and 29 PSI of boost. I do have a boost gauge coming, so I know I'm getting the most accurate reading. I can, uh, that'll be, well, it's actually at the house, and so is my five volt reference to add on to this EAS system uh, from the Edge CTS-2 that we've recently installed in the truck. So just cruising around daily driving, not being hard on the truck, accelerating at a normal limit like I am right now, even coming up a little bit of a hill there, I just saw 940 out of it. Again, we're only cruising up to 35 miles an hour, nothing crazy, but uh, very manageable there. It doesn't get too hot. Under a full throttle pull, on the other hand, I would expect to see, I've not actually done a full throttle pull because of the exhaust hitting the cab I, it just frustrates me so I don't do it yet until I get that addressed I do want to talk about top end and smoke so it is a little smoky on the top end and I don't care for that now can that be fixed yes because the turbo I'm running is got to flow enough boost to fix that issue there's no reason it shouldn't it's a 66 millimeter VGT so I do think it could just involve some tweaking in the tuning. A 66 millimeter VGT is not a very common size out there. So I do think if I called them up and said, hey, can you adjust this to get it to build a little more boost? Uh, I think we'd probably see that kind of go away. However, for the fact that I'm gonna be probably changing injectors here soon, I'm not gonna have them give me a million revisions when the tune runs really well on its own. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, I do think if you're using a little bit more of a common turbo or if you gave them a chance to revise them, uh, it would it'd clear up fine. However, it's still not bad. It's not crazy smoky at full throttle. And truth be told, the amount of times I need to get in it that hard are pretty slim. Uh, I don't need to really get into it that much too often. Never. I never need to get into it that much. I get into it sometimes, but what, with the current setup, truthfully, by the time you're there, you're going too fast anyway. You're already over the speed limit, so it's really more of an at-track kind of thing. You know, it's not like you're running a tow tune that doesn't have the same kind of oomph that this does. This is a fast tune. It builds boost super fast, guys. And sure, there's a lot of things I've done that aid in that, but just saying, this is a it's a very nice tune. So guys, we've kind of touched all the bases. It's a nice daily driving tune, and it also is fast. It should be fun at the track. I do have plans to run it in this exact setup at the track. And I'm, I'm expecting it to be a mid-13 truck 
at the track with how it feels, the turbo setup, I, which those of you guys know, that's not really any faster than I've already run at the track. The reason I'm expecting that is because I haven't necessarily added any more fuel over the Ultimate X. So I'm expecting it to be similar. Now let's kind of rank this as far as on two different scales. One is gonna be strictly on racing, one is gonna be on daily driving. So as far as daily driving goes, it is not my favorite tune. It's an excellent tune, I do wanna say that. It is an excellent tune. It's just not my favorite. Windrunner Performance still has my favorite daily driving tune. It, now I will also say this, the Windrunner Performance makes less power. Uh, it definitely does not make the same power that this tune does, it's a little less but it's still, it's still plenty of power. And part of some of that is also why the smoke isn't as bad on it. And that's something I really like in a daily driving tune is less smoke output. Plus I'm able to get a little bit better fuel economy out of his tune. So that is another pro for it. That being said, this to date is probably my second favorite tune out of the four tuners I've ever run uh, for daily driving. It shifts really nice. It drives well, there's ample power. You don't need any more power. Uh, it just, they do a nice job, it idles well. It has a very finished look, but it's more aggressive than Windrunner Performance's race tune, which isn't a knock on this tune at all because if you wanna go faster, then this might be a better daily driving tune for you, something to consider. If being the absolute fastest that your truck is capable of is important in your daily driving, uh, while still having a nice shifting strategy, then I would say this is probably a tune that you should give a really good look at because this is definitely, in my opinion, seems faster than the Windrunner Performance. Windrunner Performance, in my opinion, for a little bit better fuel economy and a little less smoke output while driving, gets the win in my book. Now, for racing, that is the next category here, and that is, this is really a toss-up between the Ultimate X and this tune. Part of me wants to say the Ultimate X still feels a little faster. Not much, but it still feels a little faster to me, but being able to daily drive your race tune uh, is kind of a huge plus to me. Not having to change out all the time, I like that, whereas I get frustrated with the Ultimate X and its shifting strategy. It's perfect for the track, and that tune doesn't skip a beat, but it wants to hold gears a little bit, which again is good for dynos, it's good for the track, um, but it's that's a very track-focused tune. It's not really meant to be driven on the street that much. You can, I've done it. I've got hundreds and hundreds of miles if not thousands and thousands of it on, on the street driving. However, this tune is a more polished uh, tune in my opinion, while producing what seems to be very similar times that it should produce at the track. Again, I, don't, I won't have an apples to apples comparison because I got different tires, I have a different turbo, but it, again, it feels very similar to the, the Ultimate X with, in my opinion, a better shifting strategy. One last thing to consider, all trucks actually respond slightly different to tuning in everyone's tunes. And we're not done reviewing tunes, guys. There's a lot more out there on the market to look at. And I plan to address them at a future video. nothing but really good things to say about this tune it's an excellent tune i recommend you guys checking them out if you're interested it's been great for me i've liked it so far again uh it ranks very high i'd say my second favorite tune to daily drive and from a race tune perspective it does really well and i think you guys will be very happy with it uh so give them a shout out guys check them out so truck source diesel guys check them out this is their spd tune they do do tow tunes they have a few different tunes that they offer so check them out if you're interested my purchase and receiving experience with them was fantastic i had my tunes within 24 hours and uh they sent me an email asking everything they need to know i gave it that all that stuff to them so customer service top notch tune quality top notch again we are going to add them to the list of tuners that are approved here on the six obros 
and pretty much the white truck from here on out is going to probably exclusively be reviewing race tunes. At this time I have no plans to review any more tow tunes for this truck. Um, I say that and I might change my mind, I don't know, but at this time I don't. And that's mainly because we're going to be making a purpose-built tow build out of Josh's truck. The goal is to make the ultimate 6.0 power stroke tow build. Yeah, we're not getting rid of the lift guys on his truck, we're not getting rid of the tires. So it's gonna be a cool build that if you wanna tow with a lifted truck in 35s, that is gonna be it. And all those things are gonna be magnified if you're not running a 35 inch tire and a lift like that. You know, if you're on a stock suspension, you know, everything we do is gonna carry right over to there so we don't see a point in changing it. Maybe down the road, depending on how the channel does, maybe we'll get some uh, different gears in there to help with his towing but we're gonna set that truck up to be the ultimate 6.0 power stroke tow build. Don't forget to check that out. Stay tuned for that, guys, it is coming. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. What's your favorite daily driver or race tune that you guys have run? And also, what tuners do you wanna see on the channel, guys? I'll see you all in the next upload.